Thankfully, the passengers and crew members on the flight were not injured during that hard landing. Still, it was a frightening experience for many. This definitely started off the trip a little rough. Kevin Joseph was on Frontier Flight 1326 from San Diego to Las Vegas. He and his family were excited to celebrate his brother's birthday. My brother has been wanting to come out and do like a big uh, birthday celebration, and just go through the whole Las Vegas experience. For the most part, he says his flight was smooth. That is, until the plane caught on fire after making an emergency landing at Harry Reid International Airport Saturday. In this video, you can see the flames and smoke coming from the aircraft. First responders are also on the scene. Honestly, I think that we are going to explode <laughs> because we, we see the fire and, and we didn't know why. We're a little shooken up from the flight. You know, the last thing we expected was to land in Vegas and be surrounded by fire vehicles. And you know, when we touched down, it was a very uh, hard landing and followed by a lot of shaking in the plane. According to FlightAware, the aircraft is an Airbus A321neo. Frontier says the plane was in the process of landing when the pilots noticed smoke and declared an emergency. Joseph says that emergency was not relayed to them on board. Before we even landed, you could see them down on the ground there. I thought it was kind of weird they were on the tarmac with their lights on. I figured something was wrong. I didn't think it was our plane. I don't think the crew themselves really knew what was going on either. Um, so we just stayed put until they told us to exit the plane. I'm actually a firefighter, so when I saw them spraying the water, spraying the plane with water, obviously not good. There's something either hot or on fire. The fact they only put a little bit of water told me there was maybe something wrong with the brakes or the wheels or something. There is a, a child that is that was crying. It, it was very hot, so and we were waiting for 30 minutes, kind of. Frontier tells me all the customers on the flight will be getting a refund. Joseph tells me this experience left his family frightened and don't know if they'll be flying back home to San Diego. I'll be honest, my whole family's kind of shook up. We talked about getting a van and driving home because we don't really want to fly again yeah. after that. Frontier says that the cause of the incident is still under investigation. For now, reporting outside of Harry Reid International Airport, I'm Giovanni Carrillo.